In this video we talk about Kevin Cruz and his 15 secrets to time management, a subject that can change your whole perception on the value of each second in the day, and what you could be capable of. I recently listened to the Cut The Crap podcast which featured Kevin Cruz, who is an entrepreneur, speaker and best selling author with the book We how to increase performance and profits through full engagement. The podcast had a hugely profound impact on me, where I gained insight on how the most successful think about time and why they are able to achieve all they have in their lives. So in this video I want to go through the first 8 steps from the 15, with the second part due out next time. The tips are about making efficient and productive use of time, and gave me great context and meaning to Dr Jordan Peterson's famous quote which goes as follows, Well you know there are remarkable people who come into the world from time to time, and there are people who do find out over what they could be like if they were who they were. We do not know the limits to that, and so you ask yourself, well what would happen if you just stop wasting the opportunities that are in front of you, who knows how much more efficient you'd be. The point here is that time is the single most valuable resource we have in life, and Kevin Cruz deconstructs the possibilities of how we're using time to make the most effective use of it. While all other resources, like money, can be recovered in life, once time passes it's gone forever, and there's no way to recover that period of your life. So knowing the importance of time, how do the most successful make the best use of the 24 hours? or 1440 minutes we have in each day. Number 1. Time is your most valuable resource We've already touched on this one, but to quote Kevin Cruz, time is life, money if lost can be recovered, if you get sick you can usually get well again, time is different though, because once you lose time it's gone and isn't coming back. Those who are successful understand and acknowledge this point. They don't think about the value of years, or months, or days, the successful look at the value of each individual minute in our day. For example, if you sit and procrastinate just for a minute, that time is gone and isn't coming back. Many of us don't think about time in these terms, we don't think about the minutes and focus on the macro, but where the difference that often counts is what you do when you consider the micro, and identify how much time you waste in the day. So try to journal how you use your time in the day, see how you're spending literally each minute of the day and after a period, perhaps a week or a month, review the journal to see the reality of how much time you lose in the day. Doing this will give you perspective on how much more you could be doing in your life. Number 2. Do the most important task first If you're working towards something in life, consider what you need to do to make the greatest progress. This is your most important task, which you should aim to do as soon as you can. As you do this daily, your productivity and progress towards your goal will snowball, which is something we all want. However, it's not just about identifying the most important task, but it's about then identifying the best time to do that task. Generally speaking, most people are at their best for a 2 hour period in the morning, this time being the period that's invaluable towards progressing towards completing a task. I find that for me, this window is usually between 9.30 and 11.30 am, so much so that I actually set my watch against it. Where possible, assign this time to do what's most important, whatever that might be for you. Try to find the 2 hours that's best for you, and set it aside for focused and fully concentrated effort to accomplishing your most important task, you'll be shocked at how productive you can be. Number 3 keep a calendar. Interestingly, Kevin Cruz found that when researching highly successful people, most responded that they didn't write to-do lists, at least not in the sense that most of us would understand them. You see, for the average person a to-do list is a bullet list of tasks they want to complete. The problem is that after writing the list, people don't actually decide when they're going to act on the items on the list, and often it falls to the wayside as other things come up. Successful people don't just list tasks, they schedule time to complete them. By giving yourself responsibility to actually plan when you're going to complete tasks, you're significantly more likely to go ahead and complete it. That means the next time you write a list of tasks, rather than just listing them out, spend time to assess how long each one will take, 
and set aside time in your day for them. Make sure to write it down, keeping a calendar or diary to help you. Doing this will make it significantly more likely that you'll follow through to complete them. Number 4. Beat Your Future Self This one is all about beating procrastination, by identifying behaviours that can be counterproductive to what you want to achieve and cutting them out before they have an effect. So for example, say you want to wake up at 5am and go on a jog first thing. Identify what might be stopping you, which might be hitting the snooze button or hesitating about the jog even if you're up. In this case, you need to set yourself up to follow through. For example, put your alarm clock in another room so that you have to physically get up and move away from your bed at 5am. Then to try and ensure that you go on the run, try to wear the clothes you will run in when asleep. Try putting your shoes near where you set your alarm so that you're reducing the possible moments of hesitation and doubts. You could also try using the 5 second rule by Mel Robbins, launching yourself into action. Number 5. Set Work Time Anyone who watches motivational content will surely have heard speakers talking about hustle and working non-stop and limiting sleep for it. While there's no denying the importance of hard work in any challenge, simply working hard isn't feasible or sustainable in the long term, because there's always going to be more to do and it never ends. If you don't take this into consideration, then chances are you'll either face burnout or hit issues in other aspects of your life, such as your relationships. Therefore, set your schedule intentionally, setting time for all of the responsibilities you have in your life. That means work, but also means health or time spent with your loved ones. Even the likes of Gary Vaynerchuk, who talks about working in every possible moment you can, dedicates time in his day to his health and family. So set an end time for work, because there's always more to do. Number 6. Keep a Notebook We constantly talk about the importance of writing and journaling on this channel, and there's good reasoning behind it. Many, if not most, successful entrepreneurs keep a notebook with them to take notes, write ideas, thoughts, feelings or reminders. This is invaluable because writing has been proven in various studies to help improve productivity, as we're significantly more likely to take action on what we write down. Likewise, writing notes frees the mind from having to try and remember details about ideas, because they're already written. That helps you free up mind space for other things that can help you perform at your best. Just make sure that you schedule time to reviewing your notebook as part of your work time. Because as mentioned with to-do lists, writing something down and not dedicating time to doing it will likely lead to you not taking action to follow up on it. Number 7. Control Your Inbox Controlling your inbox in today's terms means to take control of notifications, not to let them control you. What I mean by this is set aside time to check your inbox, whether it be email or social media, every day. Kevin Cruz says he does this three times a day, morning, noon and evening. He also goes on to say that in certain positions, you may need to check more often, even every 15 minutes. That's fine, but to improve productivity, set times to do it every 15 minutes, making it an intentional action you take. There's a couple of reasons for this, as firstly notifications are designed to distract you, so when you get them, your focus is away from what you set time towards. The second is that when we get notifications, we get a dopamine boost on checking what they're for, especially on social media. The problem is that notifications are usually non-stop and never-ending, which is where the vicious cycle can occur where we feel the constant need to check our phones, leading to addiction. Number 8. Schedule Meetings As A Last Resort This one is usually for those employed and let me just say, I hate meetings. So much so that I try to minimise the time that I set for a meeting as much as possible, as generally when in a meeting, I find people will use up all of the time allocated for the meeting, whether or not they need it. To me, it's a phenomenal waste of time, which gets multiplied by however many people there are in the meeting, as all of them lose that time. As already discussed, each minute counts, so losing 10, 15 or even 30 minutes unnecessarily is immensely frustrating, and the number of minutes lost from unnecessary and meaningless time spent in meetings in the world today is actually quite a depressing thought, as its time will never get back again, 
I'm not alone in this thought. For example, Richard Branson believes most meetings don't need to be more than 10 minutes. So if you need to have a meeting, schedule the absolute minimum time needed for that meeting and have a hard start and stop time for the meeting. Don't let people take the meeting off track and definitely don't let time go to waste in the meeting. If you can, avoid meetings altogether, but if they must happen, then have them during times of the day when you aren't expecting to be at your best performance, this being the afternoon for most people. The only exception is when the meeting is the most important task of your day, which can happen on occasion, but should be the anomaly and not the normality. Which of these tips do you already apply or intend to apply in your life? Let me know in the comment section below. Next time we'll be covering the 7 remaining tips from Kevin Cruz to use your time like the most successful people in the world. If you enjoyed this video please let me know with a like, consider sharing this with friends and subscribing as we help people live life on their terms by providing practical advice through inspirational content. Thanks for watching.